Marcia Percival. Welcome to my channel, The Inside Out. Here I share about recipes, travel, and my faith in God. Today I have a very special thing to share with you. It is the power of the name of Jesus. Please get ready and come with me. by saying the name Jesus Christ. Wow, how many people get to be so like, ooh, scared of this name, right? It's very common you hear everywhere people talking about God. Oh, God, this, God, that. But as soon you mention the name of Jesus, people go, well, they start to judge you. You are very religious or, oh my gosh, she's one of those people, they're very blind. So. I want to clarify a few things about that because the name of Jesus is so powerful that it's quite intimidating and people that don't know much about the power that is behind the name of Jesus Christ usually have reactions like that and I'd like to help you to open your mind, open your eyes, open your heart and learn exactly what is the power behind the name of Jesus. So let's start by saying that Jesus was different than any other people in the Bible. For example, there was the patriarchs, <clears throat> there was the heroes, the angels, the prophets, you name it. If you have read the Bible, <coughs> you know the incredible people that they did amazing things. But nobody have done anything so powerful like Jesus. Jesus is above and beyond what any other character showed in the Bible. So if you believe in the Bible, you know there that Jesus is the beginning and the end. In fact, even at the Old Testament, there are a lot of shades of Jesus in many stories. So in the New Testament shows that Jesus lived a life for others. He lived with no sin, he is the Son of God and He was sent to deliver the world. Is there any other person in the whole universe that have had so much impact over humanity other than Jesus Christ? I don't know anyone. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5 say, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. I love that says the man because he is the man. <laughs> I get so excited to talk about Jesus because it is amazing all this power that has been given to him in heaven and on earth, the control of everything. But the main thing is that this power is not held with Jesus. That is where the secret is. That's why when you say the name of Jesus, people go, ooh. Because the power that Jesus has, that God has given to him, is available to us. And when we're using the name of Jesus, we actually are using all the power that he holds on earth and in heaven. Let me explain better this this for you. Because of what he has done on the cross and conquered on the cross for us, we actually have access to all the power that God gave to Jesus now is available for us. We can access that. And to simplify better, I would say it's kind of having a, a, the power of the attorney. So let's say somebody comes to you and say, Marcia, this is it. This is the power of a turn with my name, with all the inheritance that I've got, with all my richness, all my power, all my authority is in this paper. I have signed my name under. I'm gonna go away. You can use for whatever you need and for whatever you want. Okay, so this is what the name of Jesus does for us. He has given us, for all of these people who believe in Him, 
that he is the son of God, that he died on the cross for us. If you all believe in that, you have received the power of a turn saying in my name, Jesus Christ, you, me, we all can come and use his name to access all authority and power that Jesus has. And by using his name, we can be healed, we can be provided for any kind of things we need, okay? The power of eternity that Jesus gave to us opened heavens for us. It brings us to receive a supernatural power. The things that you cannot do because it's not possible for humankind to do. The name of Jesus can do it for you by using properly, by understanding the power that this name has. God gave Jesus all authority in heaven and on earth. Jesus is our mediator between us and God. And Jesus gave us his power to be used under his name. So you have access to all of that. And that's why I made this video. And I hope this has helped you to understand the power that you hold in your hands every time you're praying and you are sealing, sealing this prayer with the name of Jesus Christ. So in Mark 16, verse 17 and 18 says, and these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. This is only used the name of Jesus Christ. In Luke 11, verse 9 to 10, say even more. It says, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. So when we ask and we use the name of Jesus, we see miracles, we see doors be opened, we see sickness gone, we see powers of darkness break in people's life. And why the name of Jesus only and not the name of Victor, uh, John, Peter? Because it's not biblical. If you believe in the Bible, there is no one single scripture in the Bible that says that in the name of Victor, in the name of Giovanni, in the name of whoever, you can ask and you receive. None. None. You can do your search and you will not find because there is no name that can be used that is powerful to do what has to be done on a supernatural rather than the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the only mediator between God and humanity, between God and men, between God and me, there is only Jesus Christ. Because he paid a big price on the cross to open a space so I could have a relationship directed with God without having anybody in between. I don't need a priest. I don't need to come to a priest, a father, a pastor in a church and say, please, can I ask you this? And can you go and ask God for me? I don't need to. I can ask people for praying for me, but they will pray in the name of Jesus. But it's not that I ask them to pray, to stand between me and God, to go on my behalf to ask something for God to do for me. We have to use our only mediator sent directly from God to us. And he's Jesus. There is no other. 
Now, if you're watching this video and uh, you don't do this, you're away from God or you are close to God but you never use the name of Jesus as powerful and you are convinced that you need, I'm going to put a link up here and I would like you to click in there. In that video there is a prayer where you can surrender your life to Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Spirit and all the power that the name of Jesus Christ carry with you, okay? And I think this video is getting very long. I hope the short time I had with you, I was able to explain to you some of this powerful information, okay? I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to put your thumbs up and also share. Please share this video with all the people that need to understand more about the power of the name of Jesus. Alright, thank you for watching.